Hello, Cancer. <clears throat> this is your ex reading for, not ex, I'm sorry. This is you versus them for the 7th through the 13th. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> this is a general, so it will not resonate for everyone. I would advise you guys, if you are interested, to go ahead and take a look at your Moon and Rising signs. And um, we'll go ahead and get started with this thing, all right? Cancer. What's going on for my cancers? Here. I saw something flip over in there. So now i got to spread this deck out. <clears throat> Let's see where you guys are at. Where is it? Because I know I saw it somewhere. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. My eyes plan tricks on me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to have to go back and edit this video. Because I thought for sure I saw something and I did. Ten of Pentacles there. Alright guys. <clears throat> no, I'm not editing. Alright, so. Ooh, I think a lot of you are focused on your coins right now. Mm-hmm. Pentacles, pentacles, and more pentacles. You know, this is, um, I feel like a lot of you are patiently waiting as well on a, a relationship that <coughs> is, is committed. And I don't really feel like you're in a rush because you want to make sure this is something right for you. You want to make sure this person is right for you. You don't want anything that's like not serious. Um, there is no plan around for you at this point. You know, it's like all or nothing is what I'm getting from that. <clears throat> Let's see what the other person has going on here. <clears throat> this is Virgo Taurus energy. I feel like more Taurus energy here for some reason. Huh. Somebody's waiting on the love of their life. Here. This is somebody who they know exactly who they want. And they have their eye on the prize. Here. This is possibly somebody also that um, at one point turned a blind eye to the love that they know they felt inside for someone, okay? Hmm. Let's see what you guys want. Ten of Wands, another ten, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are like, you're, you're vibing here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that y you are feeling like you are the only one because I think when you think about this this connection and that you want the one you want nothing less than excuse me oh my gosh you want nothing less than a committed uh, devoted partner I think you think about this individual okay and I feel like you are the one that is taking on all of the responsibility or feeling like you are the only one that is truly invested and it's weighing on you. And I think that at this point, you are wanting to give up. It's like you're wanting to, it's almost like, okay, if you're not going to give me this Ten of Pentacles, then I need to possibly look somewhere else. Because there is someone out there that is going to give me the Ten of Pentacles, okay? That is what I'm feeling here. And you're working. And you're working on yourself in the meantime. 
trying not to focus on the other individual. Hmm. Let's see what the other person wants. Really and truly, my cancer friends, <laughs> I see a lot of the same energy from you guys, okay? I don't know what it is about this new year, but we have a Ten of Wands here, right? Over here we have the Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands, which is a Ten of Wands. So basically, this individual on this side is basically guarding themselves from it's like they're not going to allow anyone to take more than they should basically um, they are defending their stance that they want somebody that can vibe on the same level with them okay nobody that's wanting to take more and nobody that's wanting to give more. They want to be right here. Okay. I don't know what happened between you guys. But. Um, I also get the feeling that this individual over here. Feels taken advantage of. Okay. Now keep in mind. This energy can go vice versa, okay? So cancers, you could be the one on this side. And the person that you're thinking about can be on the other side, okay? Yeah, strong mirroring here. Let's see what you guys need. You need somebody that you feel like is on the same accord with you. Like I said before, the King of Pentacles is, is a person that is very committed. They are somebody that's very loving. They are very supportive. Um, they basically put other people's needs ahead of their own. Okay. And the Empress is basically the same, just, you know, a feminine energy where they're very attractive. They're very creative. They like looking nice, um, very nurturing, very mothering, always caring for other people. You want somebody that matches you is what I'm getting here. That's what you need. Somebody that matches you. Again, this is strong Taurus energy over here on this side. So a lot of you Cancers are probably dealing with a Taurus. I feel Libra here as well. I feel Aries here as well. Okay. Strongly. All right. Let's see what the other person needs. Feel like they need to be willing to just give this a chance just throw caution to the wind and give this love a chance because both of you know that you love each other it's unmistakable okay neither one of you can deny what you feel for each other but somebody's somebody on this side is very is defensive and um, I feel like this person probably turned their back before on the connection. And maybe it was because they felt like they were, you know, they were giving too much. So now it's like, I'm not accepting that anymore. Regardless if I love this person or not, I'm not accepting that anymore. Not even taking into account, maybe this person has changed or, you know, maybe this person felt like they were giving too much in a certain area. Because a lot of times, you know, 
one person feels one way in the relationship and the other person may feel the same way, but just in a different area. One may feel like they have given too much support, like as far as money or, you know, they're the ones that the one that actually supports the family financially or whatever and then the other person may feel like you know they were the ones that were holding the relationship together emotionally you know so everybody has their own viewpoint here and that's what i feel like is kind of going on with you guys is that um you're each looking at each other's um shortcomings and not looking at what the actual strengths are in the connection okay and the main one is love Love does not carry it all, but in order for a relationship to stick together like glue, I mean, that is, this is first and foremost, okay? So, let's see if there is anyone else involved here. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like you guys are like on this side. And this is like a Taurus energy, maybe Aries, Leo, um, sort of energy over here, possibly Libra. Okay. Just the energy, you guys. I keep saying that in every reading because um, I don't want to confuse people. But, you know, listen to the situation, not necessarily the energy that I see present here. Because it does not have to be the sign. Okay. Okay. Just because the energies here does not have to, does not mean they have to be a Taurus or, or they have to be a Sagittarius or an Aries or you get it, okay? Let's see if there's someone else involved. Someone over here is trying to trying to avoid changing. trying to avoid changing they're also trying to they don't want to lose this connection they don't want to lose this connection I'm also getting the 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 impression that um, whoever this king of Pentacles is you know like with the Queen of Pentacles, sometimes they can um, they can like to be a little showy, and they may like trophy wives, trophy husbands, um, people that have a certain look, people that have a certain um, presentation, you know. And I'm I'm getting that over here. that you guys may have been somebody's trophy wife husband girlfriend that type of of person or vice versa and they see they see the female counterpart as um as beautiful for sure somebody they love to have on their arm they're not wanting this to end but they're also trying to avoid changing the way that they are, changing their perspective on things, okay? No, I don't feel like they have anyone else. Could be somebody that they also ended something with that they walked out on, possibly ghosted here as well, okay? So that is the energy that's here now. I'm just a messenger, okay? They may have ghosted you, but I don't get that, you know, this is an energy that is, um, that happened between you and, and them or them and you. I feel like this is them doing this to someone else. But if this is the type of energy that this person embodies, then this is the type of energy that they usually have. Okay. And they could have possibly ghosted you before, but I feel like they are really trying to sneak out on something and avoid this truly ending between you guys trying to avoid changing as well here okay but oh okay is someone else involved we have a knight of pentacles there huh 
Huh. Huh, huh, huh. We missed something. I don't think anyone else is involved. I feel like, because again, I feel like this is like a Taurus. For most of you, for a lot of you, this is a Taurus energy. And I feel like this Taurus energy is viewing you guys as their destiny, as somebody they are meant to be with, they're fated to be with um, here. This is what I'm feeling. Aquarius energy here as well. Aquarius. All right. So let me pull a romance angels card and um, see what message I have to take you guys on out of this reading. Okay. Hmm. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm. So that couple with the three of wands here. Keep knowing that there is better for you. There is better out there for you. If the other individual is not for you, there is somebody that will be better suited for you. Okay? If this is not the individual, if they are not offering this love that, that you are wanting, this stability that you are wanting, then there is somebody else out there that will be um, more than happy and willing to offer that to you. Okay, guys? So that is what I have for you, Cancers. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. And love you guys. Bye now.